NutriSense has entered the personalized nutrition space through the combination of a continuous glucose monitor, an app, and one-on-one -on -one dietitian support. Their product guides you in optimizing your daily health performance. It's all about you. In this review, I'll share my experience with NutriSense and really dig into the data to determine whether it can live up to the claims. Let's science it. Hey, welcome to Nourishable. I'm Dr. Lara. First, what is a continuous glucose monitor and why would you use one? Continuous glucose monitors, or CGMs for short, are wearable devices that measure the glucose concentration in real time in your interstitial fluid. Basically, the watery fluid around your cells under your skin. It's a good proxy for your blood glucose concentration. Originally developed to help people with diabetes manage their blood glucose, now companies like NutriSense are making CGMs available to general consumers through off-label usage. Why use one? Research has been showing that blood glucose patterns are important biomarkers for health. Lots of variability with super high spikes and steep dips, or blood glucose levels that stay high for a long time, are all associated with increased risk of developing chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Many factors impact our glucose levels. Food, exercise, stress, sleep. But here's the thing. Studies have shown that there's a ton of variability between people and how they respond to food. So nutrition recommendations for Bob need to be different than Betty. NutriSense is at the cutting edge in making this data available to you. As a nutrition scientist, I'm really excited about the promise of direct-to-consumer CGMs for personalized health. In full transparency, NutriSense provided me with the product for free so I could give it a spin. But this review represents my own honest opinions. Here is my NutriSense. They offer several packages that vary in length. The shortest is a one month package with two CGMs for $350. Each CGM lasts for 14 days. Each package includes one month of dietitian support. Uh, so now I'm gonna insert my NutriSense CGM. And so I have to find the flabbiest portion of my arm. I will clean off that area with the alcohol prep pad. EGM self. So that twists a line that I line up like that and push in. And now what I can do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna insert this into my arm, that spot that I cleaned off. And there it is. Ta-da! So, easy peasy, didn't hurt at all. Cover it up with this nice little sticker so that it lasts for the full two weeks even when I shower and sweat. This is what the filament looks like. It's the part that's actually sensing the glucose in your interstitial fluid. So you can see that it's pretty flexible and pretty short, so there isn't anything going too deep into your skin. The way you use the NutriSense app day to day is by frequently scanning. Scan successful. You have to scan at least every eight hours. I found scanning first thing when I woke up before each meal and right before bed meant that I captured all of my data. Though there were a few times when I forgot to scan or slept longer than eight hours and missed a bit. To enter a meal, you hit the plus button, meal, take a picture, yeah, it looks good. Enter what category, this is a snack. And then you can type in a description um, so I'm going to type in apple and pistachios, whoops. And then down here, it'll pick up some suggested ingredients, either from what you typed or also from kind of an AI that it uses to look at the picture. And so that is the way that you can add in further information. So I'll say, yeah, that's probably about one medium apple. And so that is where it'll incorporate macronutrient information as well as calories and then pistachios. 
I'm going to say that's probably about one ounce of pistachios. I didn't actually weigh it. Yes. And then that all looks good. So I hit a check mark. And then that'll give me a little dot along my timeline where I ate that meal. The food tracker can also scan barcodes, which makes entering packaged foods pretty easy. I think my favorite thing about their food tracking function is that it gives you a range of options with respect to how much detail you want to enter. If you want a precise macronutrient profile, you have the ability to enter in specific serving sizes for each ingredient. Personally, I often opted for just taking a picture and jotting down the ingredients in general because I found it less burdensome, especially for complicated recipes. Plus, I found that I gleaned enough information from the pictures and the glucose curve to get a good feel for the correlations. Physical activity data can be entered manually or gathered through integration with fitness trackers. I use a Fitbit and it was a bit finicky because NutriSense didn't integrate directly with Fitbit, but rather through Google Fit. In order for Fitbit to talk to Google Fit, it had to go through another app called fit to fit I messaged with tech support a bunch about this, and they were really helpful. Ultimately, we got it working somewhat, though often it would just enter my sleep hours and my step count, but miss out on discrete physical activity events. Plus, the fitness data would only get uploaded into NutriSense once a day. I preferred to see my activities closer to real time, so I usually just entered in my physical activity manually, and I didn't find that to be too burdensome. Let's walk through the app data. There's a lot. Here's my glucose curve for the day. It uses yellow for out of range and green for in range, and their default green range is 70 to 140 milligrams per deciliter. Blue dots represent physical activity, so we see my morning dog walk here, and then red dots represent meals. Next, we have the glucose score, which is a metric indicating how well your glucose levels were managed for the day out of 10, where higher is better. There are four parameters that go into the glucose score algorithm. Peak, which is an indicator of how high your glucose spiked over the day. Average, which reflects your average glucose across the day. Adaptability, which reflects how long spent out of range. And variability, which reflects how much your glucose levels fluctuated over the day, where less variability is better. The next tab gives summary statistics on your glucose levels today and compares them to your weekly stats. And then the macro summary provides calories and macronutrient proportions, should you choose to enter all that info. Then below each meal gets its own glucose score, where again 10 is the best and 0 is the worst. Glucose scores for meals look at patterns for 2 hours after your meal, and they're made up of peak, exposure, which is a reflection of how much glucose your cells were exposed to for 2 hours, stability, which reflects the largest absolute change in glucose levels, and recovery, which is the difference between your baseline and 2 hours post meal. I found the meal scores to be the metric I use the most when running my own little experiments. Scrolling down, we get a more detailed macro and micronutrient breakdown. In my opinion, the feature that makes NutriSense really stand out compared to other products is the one-on-one -on -one dietitian support. A day into your first CGM experience, you're paired with a dietitian through the messaging function. My dietitian, Casey, was excellent. My approach when using this was to just live my life normally for the first few days to see what my glucose patterns look like, which included both my normal healthy routine as well as wine and treats at some Halloween celebrations late into the night. Casey helped me glean insights from my data, identify some factors to work on, and then together we made a plan. I really wanted to work on improving my meal scores from my lunch salads. I thought that they were pretty healthy because they were full of fiber, but I frequently found that I was getting sevens for my lunch scores. Casey thought that the fact that I was sedentary after lunch was the reason. We decided to focus on incorporating bursts of physical activity right before or after lunch and boosting the protein in my salads. Here's the day when I didn't exercise before lunch. My healthy salad topped with bulgur, sauerkraut, apple, and a hard boiled egg gave me a rapid spike and a score of 7. But then on this day, I did a 7 minute HIIT workout before lunch and my salad with quinoa, roasted squash, and black beans gave me a perfect 10. Not only did Casey help me identify some factors to modify, she also took my input and considered how to make these changes sustainable in my lifestyle. 
As the product grows, I really hope that they can keep this feature. It makes such a difference to have a dialogue with a professional clinician rather than a bot. NutriSense also provides a private Facebook group for users as a forum for questions and support. I found that I didn't use it because I felt fully supported with my dietitian, but I can certainly see how it could be a helpful feature for longer term users beyond the one month of dietitian counseling. Plus, from the behavior change perspective, group support can be very effective. One other note on my NutriSense experience. I was having a great time running little N of 1 experiments, and then I started getting super low glucose readings in the 35 to 65 range on days 10 through 14. It seemed like my sensor was pooping out early. Although I could still see patterns in the curve, getting these falsely low readings really took the wind out of my sails. I talked with customer support and they made it right by providing me with a replacement sensor. My second sensor worked consistently over the full 14 day period. Overall, I had a whole month with the NutriSense package. I was very engaged with the product for that whole period of time. But it is a fair bit of a time investment to both track and reflect on your data. If you're considering using NutriSense, make sure that you're mentally prepared to invest the time and brain space. Personally, I wouldn't want to wear a CGM all the time, but I would be interested in wearing one every few months to get a feel for my glucose metabolism and try out some new N of 1 experiments. My biggest takeaways from using the NutriSense product was just how impactful those little bursts of physical activity can be. Elliot is thrilled about getting extra power walks, and I'm thrilled to keep my glucose levels more stable after a black bean heavy salad. Overall, I am a big fan of the NutriSense CGM package. It is expensive. The smallest package for one month with two CGMs and dietitian support is $350. In my one month experience, I feel that I learned tweaks that I'll be using for the rest of my life, so it is very valuable. The feature that really stands out about NutriSense compared to other competitors is the dietitian support. This is so important. It can be really easy to get overwhelmed with data or obsessed with trying to do everything perfectly. I feel that the dietitian support ensures that users will come away with personalized tips that are sustainably healthy. The food tracking function was great. I like the options to input a range of detail depth. I felt that the glucose scores and the meal scores were presented in a way that was accessible for a quick glance, but also offered opportunity to dig in deeper. Plus the app had great tools for comparing meals. As for the cons, I wouldn't say that there were any deal breakers. I would have liked a smoother fitness tracker integration, but my issues may have been specific to Fitbit and may not happen with other fitness trackers. I know that this is just the nature of the technology, but sometimes I missed out on collecting data because I forgot to scan, and that was sad. The insight from NutriSense did help me optimize my habits for healthier glucose levels in a way that are sustainable for my lifestyle. I would highly recommend the NutriSense CGM package. If you want to try it out for yourself, check out the video description for links and a nourishable discount code. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. Check out all my references in the video description and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition.